Hey folks, Gary here with Paramount, and uh, we're going to be having a unscheduled live stream tonight. Uh, today is Sunday, August the 4th. Uh, we're going to do that at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, there's some things I definitely want to talk about and address, and I think the best way to do that is during a live stream. You know, a lot of times uh, there's the message or my intention behind a video, and I think sometimes that's lost. I think there's some idea out there that, you know, I... Uh, because I only think that there's one shooter, and, and there's some updates on that, that somehow I don't want to hold the government accountable. That's not my point at all. My frustration, I guess, to some extent, is, you know, there's knowns and unknowns. And it's unknown whether there was just one shooter or multiple shooters or, you know, Max Yeager and all this other stuff. What I do know for a fact is that the Secret Service is 100% responsible for the security of our president. I also know that uh, there's some other people that are in charge that should be held accountable for this that are not, they're not being held accountable because so many people are distracted by finding out all these other theories. And whether you think there's two shooters, three shooters, four shooters, it really doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, is that the number one person that should have been accountable was Cheadle. She's gone, all right? Who is her boss? Is Mayorkas. Folks, and then on top of that, then we have where the buck stops, and that is Joe Biden. Joe Biden and Mayorkas are 100% should be taking accountability, should be taking responsibility for the failures that took place in Butler. Those are givens. And, and my concern is that if, well, here, I'll put it this way. If the people that believe in all these other theories, whether they're right or wrong, if they put 5% of the effort and to holding those people accountable, we would see some real accountability to some possible change. If there was an outcry for Mayorkas to get fired, as there should be, because it is definitely his responsibility and his failure, um, as well as Biden. Biden should be held accountable for this. Could you imagine what would happen if Trump was president and Biden was on the campaign trail and we had the same exact failure? It would be 100% put at Trump's feet. And it should be 100% put at Biden's feet and on him as, a, as the responsibility. So, you know, we're going to talk about that. The other thing I want to talk about is what I plan on doing in the future. One thing I'm, I'm very grateful for is that there's been many times in the past few years where, you know, events like this have taken place that I've felt a lot of passion about, concern about. And then, you know, I look out and I see, looking at the public, it's just crickets. I am very grateful and I, and I think it's very gratifying to see that so many people are passionate about this. I just think we need to make sure that regardless of how many shooters, what type of conspiracy is taking place, that the way that we prevent this in the future is making sure that we hold the right people accountable. And we know we have the, that's the known. We can chase the unknown all we want, but the real effort needs to be toward the known. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about some efforts that I want to put forward in the very near future, including either one trip or multiple trips up to Butler. I think there's some information that we need to find out that's only going to be found out there on site. So uh, anyways, make sure you join us tonight at 8.30 p.m. YouTube, Rumble, and Facebook, but mainly YouTube and Rumble. Um, the other thing I would tell you, there's a lot of folks out there, if you haven't seen the full interview with former Secret Service counter sniper team member that I've done. There's, it's a two part. Um, you need to watch that. Uh, I think a lot of people are still confused, and it's it's adding to it's adding to the confusion when you don't know how those operate. Right? If you don't understand how the Secret Service operates, we go through all the inner workings, and those videos are not in any way a defense of Secret Service. They are an outright condemnation of the Secret Service by a former Secret Service member, by a former counter sniper team. And as a matter of fact, uh, other things came out after that. We, I think we held that interview on the 15th, so two days after. Anyways, more stuff came out and it was worse than we even thought at the time. So don't, don't get confused that I'm somehow defending the government, I'm not. Right now, one of the big things I believe is that there was not enough resources on the ground and they were, and the people on the ground were set up for failure. And I do think there's a conspiracy behind that because I do think it was a political move to intentionally withhold resources from Trump. I think he was understaffed on the security side for a long time. And then we just happened to have somebody that take that basically, you know, took advantage of that. Uh, but they were set up to fail to begin with. That's my current theory. And we'll talk more through that. I also want to make sure that we include other people that believe something differently than I do. I want to include them on this 
and make sure that we investigate all angles of this. And I have a plan for that. So make sure you join us tonight. We're going to talk through it. Uh, anyways, we really appreciate the support. But until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon.